Hey guys, welcome to your TK Empowered Teaser Workout. So what's gonna happen today, we're gonna work the entire body, but each circuit that we do, it is going to be a sample of each day of the program. So we're gonna do five, essentially five different workouts today. It's gonna be five different circuits, but we're going to focus on a different um, metabolic pathway, a different area of the body. So you're gonna see what each day is like in this new program, TK Empowered. I hope you like it. You are gonna need your dumbbells today. I'm gonna be using my 15s and probably my 10s as well. Um, and then, yes, definitely my 10s. Yes, 10s. I'm being bold. And you're gonna need some kind of soft surface on the ground because we have some planks, some laying down stuff. All right, guys, are you ready to see what this is all about? Remember, this is just a little sneak peek. This is just a snippet of what you'll get in the program. I hope you enjoy, and let's get warmed up. All right, guys, we're gonna start with some big shoulder rolls back and down. Every workout in this program, we start with a uh, warm up. Your warm up is always included, and your, uh, as is your cool down and stretch. So just know that because I know that if I don't include it, I've learned this the hard way, you guys aren't gonna do it. <laughs> so <laughs> that's why it's here. We're still rolling back and down. Good, we're gonna reverse that circle. So now we're rolling forward. Think big shrug up and then push those shoulders down. We're gonna do a few more here, and then we're gonna actually roll all the way down and walk it out to flank. So get to a place where you can do that comfortably and we're gonna go big shrug up, roll the shoulders forward and now keep rolling down and walk it all the way out to plank. Nice strong plank here and walk it all the way back up. Roll all the way up nice and slow, shoulders back and down, stand tall. Again, roll it down, walk it all the way out. This time we're going to add a, like a lizard lunge. So bring one foot up to the outside of the hands here and just kind of roll around, stretch, find what feels good here. And then when you're all ready, you're going to rotate in that direction of that knee that is bent up. So we're right here, <sighs> twist. Breathe here for just a sec. And then bring that hand back down, feet together and walk it back up. Roll it up nice and slow, shoulders back and down. Same thing, other leg, roll it down, walk it out. Other leg comes up, hang here for a second, roll around, find what feels good, and then place that palm in the center, open up, breathe, and bring the hands back together, feet together, and walk it back up. We're gonna do one more and you can add whatever you want at the bottom this time. Roll it down, walk it out, add whatever you want. It can be a push up, it can be a mountain climber. I'm gonna go for an upward facing dog here as it feels really good for me as I get warm. I like to kind of roll around in it. Good, and then come all the way back up. Hang with me here. Roll the shoulders back and down, good. We're gonna stretch out those hip flexors. So step back, reach those hands up as you push the hips forward, stretch through the hip flexor of the leg that's back and switch, push, reach, and switch again. You should feel that hip flexor stretching out. Switch again. We're gonna do it one more time on each side. Switch. And switching one more time. Beautiful. And now I'm gonna face forward here. We're gonna rock side to side. Oh yeah. I needed that today. We're gonna bring the arms into it here in just a second. Arms come out to the sides and as we lunge, we also make little circles, getting those shoulders warmed up. Take control of your breathing now so you're not out of breath during this workout like I'm gonna be because I'm talking the whole time. 
good. Let's straighten the legs out, relax those arms, and just come down, stretching to one foot, walk across to the other, and then back down. Again. Again. We're gonna do a few more, and then we will get that heart rate up. All right, meet me in center here. Hang for just a second. And heel toe, heel toe, those feet together. And roll it up nice and slow. Roll the shoulders back and down, chest is proud. We're gonna come to just a bit wider than shoulder width. Squat as I push my arms forward. And then row back, squeeze my shoulder blades together. Squeeze. I sound like, uh, who's that actor that talks like this? Push and squeeze. Push, squeeze. That's gonna bother me. Push, squeeze. A few more guys. One more here. Squeeze, now I'm gonna push overhead and then squeeze down, up. Don't let that back arch. I want you to stay engaged in the core. Squeeze those glutes. Rib cage doesn't flare, so stay tight. Push and down. One more time. Down, good. We're gonna just jog in place here, and we're gonna roll our wrists. We do have some planks and some burpees today, so we wanna make sure those wrists are warm and mobilized. All right, now I'm gonna relax those hands, pick up my pace. Feet are gonna come off the ground, more of a jog than a shuffle. We're gonna pick up the pace again, high knees. Really bring the arms into it this time. Pull the abs in. A few more seconds here. Want that heart rate to come up. We're gonna switch it. Jumping jacks. Abs pulled in. Strong arms, strong shoulders. And good. Let it relax, shoulders back and down, chest is proud. We are ready to work out. All right guys, every week we start with a body weight HIIT workout. So that's where we're gonna start today. Our timer is 20 seconds on with 10 seconds rest. We'll alternate between two exercises, A, B, A, B, and then we'll move to the next. So we have three little mini circuits to get through here. First exercise is a bear, pop it to a plank, and then into a squat. So bear, plank, squat. Bear, plank, squat. Got it? We go in eight seconds. That is it, right? This is gonna be so easy. We go in three, two, one, here we go. Right into bear, plank, squat. Again, bear, plank, squat. That bear, the knees are just barely hovering over the floor. Good, eight seconds left. It's like a three-point burpee or a two-point. Two. Yes. All right. Next exercise, we are going to do a star jump and then we're going to do an X jump. Here we go. Arms and legs fly out to the sides and then they just pop. 15 seconds. Almost done. Fly and then pop. Three. Yes. Back to the bear. Plank. Squat. In three. Here we go. Bear. Plank. Squat. Bear. Squat. We got it, guys. Abs are pulled in to protect your back. Brace your core. Three. All 
All right, we got that X jump, star jump. In three. Here we go. Big jump, pop jump. 15 seconds. Halfway. Five. Two. It burns. Rest. All right, new circuit of exercises. Next exercise is a static sprint for three counts. Then we'll pop it out to plank, pop it back up, run it again. So I'm just trying to move my feet as fast as I can under my body, and then I'll pop it out, give my legs a little rest, pop it back in. We go in five seconds, guys. Three. Here we go. One, two, three. Pop it out, in. One, two, three. Out, in. We got it. Count in your own time. Maybe your three seconds is a lot longer than mine. Or maybe it's faster. Rest. We're going to squat down, step the feet together, back out, pop the feet together. Takes a little coordination. Down, step, pop. Step, pop. Step, pop. We got it. Step, pop. Step, pop. Step, pop. Five. Rest. Fast feet. Run them fast. Pop it out to plank. Back up. Here we go. One, two, three. Pop. One, two, three. Move those arms. Five seconds. Yes. Step and pop. We go in three. Here we go. We're wide. Step together. Pop together. Wide. Step together. Pop together. Step. Pop. Three. Yes. All right, one more Tabata style hit circuit. Starting with a kick through. We're gonna come down into a bear position and I'm going to kick one leg through as I open the chest. Kick through, kick through. If this is too hard for you, just do mountain climbers. Got it? In five, we pop it into that bear. Kick the leg through. Two. Here we go. Right here. Kick. You're going to move at a pace that works for you. If you can speed it up, do it. Five. And rest. We're going to do a burpee. All right. I'm sorry, I'll pop it out to plank. I'm gonna bring the fingertips back and behind when I jump. So out, in, jump. If you need to, step it out, out, in, in, and come up onto the toes, that's fine too. Do whatever version you need to, to make it through. Rest. We're going back to the kick through. In three. Here we go. Down, kick it through. Almost done. Okay, burpees. 
Whew. The HIIT workouts are always hard. Here we go. Down and jump. Five. Two. Yes. All right, we're moving on. All right, guys, allow your breathing to kind of calm down. You may want to bring a mat out for just this first exercise. We are moving into our glute power day. So what we're going to do is really burn out one booty cheek right now. We're going to go through an entire sequence on one leg, then we will repeat on the other side. I'm going to start with my right just because it makes the most sense to me to start on my right because my left is stronger. I'm going to use my 15s for the last two exercises, but for the first, I'm going to use nothing. I'm going to come all the way down. We're going to do a single leg thrust. You can do a bridge if this bothers your shoulders. And in three, we kick it up. Here we go. Up and down. So I'm working my right leg, which is the one that is planted on the ground here. I'm pressing through my heel and I got that pelvis tucked. You got 20 more seconds here. Bear with me. Think about exhaling as you come up and then you can inhale as you slowly lower down. 10 seconds. Woo. Okay, my glute is on fire. Two. Rest. All right, that same leg is gonna work. We're gonna do an RDL to a reverse lunge. I'm gonna use both my 15s. I'm gonna plant my right leg. I'm gonna, Franny's angry. We're gonna hinge down, feet together, and then step back. Here we go. So I'm gonna hinge down, stand, uh, step our feet together, and then step back together. Hinge together, step back together. It's two separate moves today. Back stays flat, core engaged, strong foot. If you are having trouble with the balance, you can always grab onto a wall, chair, couch, 10 seconds. Woo! I lost it. Good. I'm gonna keep that same foot planted except I'm gonna uh, split my stance here. In 10 seconds, I'm gonna grab those weights and hinge, working that same leg that's in front. In three, back is flat. Here we go. Down and up. I have a slight bend in that front knee. I'm driving through the heel. It's gonna help me keep it in my glute. Back leg is just a kickstand. How is that glute? Squeeze it to come up. Back stays super flat. Ah! Stay with me, guys. Squeeze. Focus on the glute. Five. And rest beautiful we're coming all the way down progressing through on the other leg so the left leg is gonna plant working that left glute we go in five three here we go up and down same thing we did before except now we're working that opposite side This is a nice, slow pace compared to that hit that we started with, right? 20 more seconds. 15 more seconds left. Stay with me, stay tucked, don't arch. Almost done. Three. 
Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay. RDL reverse lunge. We got it. I'm using two dumbbells again. Up to you. If you need help with that balance, you can grab something, use one dumbbell, do what you got to do. Here we go. Hinge, feet together, lunge. Remember, you've got a pickle jar under that front foot. That way that knee doesn't fall in. Stay focused. Stay in control, you're halfway. Squeeze to come up. 10, how's that glute? Three. Yeah, oh my gosh, okay. Split the stance, same leg works. We hinge up and down. We go in eight seconds. Split the stance. Here we go. Down. Use those glutes to come up. Down. Your glute should be talking to you. Keep those dumbbells nice and close to your body, lats engaged. We got this. Back so flat, shoulder blades in your back pockets. Nice, long spine. No rounding, no aching in that lower back. It's all booty. Three. Oh. Thank goodness, guys. Oh. Moving on to a new day. Next day would be our upper body cardio core day. It is one of my favorite days. So you're going to need both uh, sets of dumbbells if you've got a lighter and a heavier set. Think uh, triceps, kickback, right? I'm gonna start with a single 15 pounder for this first exercise. What we're gonna do is walk all the way out to plank. We're gonna Row, 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 and then walk it back up. We go in three. Here we go. I'm gonna walk out, row, row, again, row, row, and then walk it back up. Notice I'm moving a little more quickly than I did in the beginning. Row, row, row and row back up 20 more seconds row we got it row 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 all the way back up got time for a one more almost other side good all right I'm gonna use my tens for this next exercise. I forgot to mention it's shoulders. Sorry. Lateral raise out to the side. Here we go. Slight bend in the elbow. So maybe you needed lighter weights than I anticipated. You got 30 seconds on the clock. If it starts getting too heavy, you can always go one at a time. 20 seconds. After this, we get to do some cardio. Yay. Slight bend. Don't throw the weights up there. Three. Yes, all right, get your dumbbells out of the way. We're gonna go with just a twisted hop. We're gonna twist the arms and legs in opposite directions. Here we go. 30 seconds here. So remember this 
We're not going for hit, right? This is more cardio based. I don't want it to be as hard as you can go. We're just trying to break a sweat, get that heart rate up, have a little fun. Almost done here. Five, three, rest. Good, we're gonna do another round of cardio. We're gonna do a hacky sack run. So I'm just gonna run, pretend I'm playing hacky sack in five, three, here we go. Bring the arms into it if you can. Or maybe you're pretending it's a soccer ball. I'm going with the hacky sack here. Keep breathing. Halfway. Ten. Heart rate is up. Five. Two. And rest. All right, I'm gonna use my 10. This time we're gonna walk it out to plank. Row it up, kick it back. Row, kick back. Back in, other side, and then come back up. So it's just two. Walk it out, row, kick back. Down, other side. Row, kick back. Down, walk it up. Back down. Row, kick. Back in, other side, row, kick, back up. <sighs> Core is fired up. <sighs> other side, <sighs> try not to let the hips wiggle. 10 more seconds, guys. You got time to get down there again. <sighs> other side. Yes. All right. Shoulder raise, lateral raise. This time we're gonna add a reverse fly. So out to the sides, hinge down, fly, back up. Here we go. Out to the sides, down, reverse fly. All the way back up, shoulders. And then think back of the shoulders. Upper back. Down, fly. We got this. Up again. Bring on the faces. 15. Back down. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Two, ah. All right, guys, we're moving on to our next day. Day four is normally, ooh, hello, a rest day. So take a little extra time right now, grab a quick sip, and pretend like we're on day four. Okay, now stop, it's time to move to day five, which is our dumbbell hit day. So grab, your heavier dumbbells. I'm gonna use my 15s. We're gonna start with a single dumbbell, swing. So we're gonna hinge at the hips, dumbbell uh, flings right between the legs, and then we're gonna power through the hips to swing it up, down, swing it all the way onto our shoulder, pop it overhead, down, swing, pop it on the opposite shoulder, overhead. Here we go, up, pop, Overhead. If I didn't have to speak through this workout, I would opt for a bit of a heavier weight on this move, but don't feel bad if you don't have heavier weights. You can just move faster. Three. Woo! Rest. Next exercise is again with a single dumbbell. We're going to pop it down. Sorry, you've got lots of rest here. Pop it down into plank. Take the dumbbell, 
Go for like a beast position here as we reach it through, bring it back, and then come up to jump. Then repeat on the opposite side. Beast, pull through. In five. Here we go. Down, pull through, back up to jump. Other side. We got it, guys. You're halfway already. Oh my gosh. That got hard. Okay, two dumbbells for this next one. And then we'll repeat all of those. So we get the hang of them. I'm gonna come down into bear, sorry, into plank. Pop it into bear at an angle, angle, and then come up, pop the dumbbells up on my shoulders, back down. So it's hop, hop, pop, clean. Here we go. We're here, hop, hop, pop, clean it up. Back down, hop, 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 clean. Hop, hop, pop, clean. Hop, hop, pop, clean. Three. Amazing. Swing. Clean up and over that first exercise we did. One dumbbell. We go in 10. Breathe, guys. Grab that dumbbell. We swing in three. Here we go. Swing, pop it up, up and over. Remember, this is a hip hinge, not a squat. You shouldn't feel this in your back. It should be driving from the glutes and the hips. 10. Three. Yes, beast. Pull through, burpee. We got it, guys. We're doing okay. 15 seconds till we start. Enjoy that rest. We doing good. We have one circuit after this. We go in five, three. Here we go. Pop it out. Beast, pull through, up to jump. Out, pull through, abs tight. Fifteen seconds. Oh my gosh. This one gets me after about twenty seconds. Thank you. Two dumbbells. We go bear, hop, hop, pop, clean. <sighs> Woo! In 15 seconds. <sighs> Breathe with me. I swear the dumbbell ones don't get you until the rest. In three. Here we go. Out, hop, 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 and clean. Hop, 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 and clean. Don't let those knees fall in, and don't let the back <coughs> around. 10 seconds. <coughs> Two. 
goodness, guys. We're moving to day six. Legs and core, right? I'm gonna use my same 15 pounders for this last circuit. Um, legs and core day, it's more sneaky core. It's not like abs, so don't think we're crunching the whole time. Although in the final weeks, we have a little more um, abdominal work than just overall core. So fun. All right, so grab your dumbbells. First exercise, mostly ooh, leg focused. I'm gonna pop both dumbbells onto my shoulders, step it wide, sumo squat with a heel lift. So in three, I will come down, lift my heels, down, lift, lower, and back up. Working those inner thighs. So I'm not really hinging myself forward here. I'm trying to stay tall, toes turned out, but knees tracking in the same direction as those toes. If you don't have the mobility in your hips for this, you can always go for a regular squat and lift and lower the heels. Probably gonna feel it a little more in your quads than those inner thighs. Oh my gosh, I haven't stopped talking and now I'm out of breath. Five seconds. Three. Rest. Dumbbell goes into the right hand. Other one, toss it on the ground. We're gonna do reverse lunges with offset weight, which means your core is going to have to adjust to the switching of the legs and more weight being on one side. Here we go. Stepping back and together, switching. Move at a pace that you can sustain for the full 40 second interval. 30 seconds left. Woo. Make sure you got that belly button pulled in. 17. Dumbbell is in that right hand. 10. Might make you feel a little more wobbly with that offset weight. Two. Yes, come down onto your right side. So we did right hand. Now we're coming onto the right arm here. Be uh, leg on the bottom is bent under. And in five, we're gonna lift up to a modified plank. We're gonna lift and lower that leg. Up, flex that top foot, lift it up, lower down. You're working the obliques, the bottom glute, the hips, the outer thighs, even those lats. And just breathe here, guys. 20 seconds left. Lift and lower. I know you might have a little shake going on, but we are almost done. 10 seconds. Five. Stay with me. Three. And rest. Woo! Okay. Come up nice and slow. Grab the dumbbells. We've got that sumo heel lift again. Pop the weights up. Squat down, toes out. In three. Here we go. Down, lift, lower, right back up. If your balance is struggling, you can always set the weights down, hold on to something. Stay in control of the movement. Inner thighs firing up, right? We got 15 seconds left, and we'll go for that offset reverse lunge in the left hand. And then we're almost done. Five. Get low. Ah. All right. Dumbbell goes in the left hand. Reverse lunge. Offset. In 10 seconds. My grip is not as good in this hand, so this should be exciting. Three. 
Here we go. Back together, switching those legs. Abs are pulled in tight. Let your body make the adjustments it needs to, to stabilize. This is a, a, a core challenge, balance challenge, stability challenge, and a burner. You got 15 seconds left, guys. 10. I am sweaty. Five, two. All right, down onto the left side. This is it, guys. Your last 40 seconds of work. Lift and lower. We go in five, three, two. Here we go. Lift up. Flex that foot, toes pointed forward. If you start turning those toes up, it's gonna be all hip flexor. You got 25 seconds. Pull the belly button in. Think about those obliques firing up. Try to lift. 15. We are almost done, guys with your whole sampler. Oh my goodness. Five, three. Oh, my shake. Rest guys. Oh my goodness. Go ahead and flip it. Just sit on your bum here for a second and just go, holy cow. I did it. That little teaser, that was chaos but that was a pretty legit full body workout. All right, I'm gonna take my right foot, put it on that left leg, and then I'm gonna slide myself together, fold myself up here <clears throat> and breathe. And just be proud of myself for getting through that chaos of a workout. I feel like we went around the world in 30 minutes. <laughs> Breathe, guys, relax into it. You can kind of rock the legs, find if you need to deepen that stretch. Like if I fall out just a little here, I feel it much deeper. Good, let's go ahead and switch sides. Breathing. We did it. Now you get to decide if this is something you would like to do every day for the next four weeks. And if it is, I'm going to put a link down below so you can sign up. <sighs> Yay. I promise this is one of the fa my favorite programs I've ever made. Every single workout I finished with a smile on my face. It was, I had so much fun making this and it was so sweaty and so many showers were had. And my husband was doing the laundry and he was like, oh my God, the laundry smells so bad. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, well, I've been sweating a lot lately. Good guys. All right, we're gonna <clears throat> come sit right here, bring an arm across, stretch through that back. I don't wanna smash my microphone here. Back of the shoulder. Sit up nice and tall, don't just slouch over. Sorry, I'm rambling, we'll switch to the other side. I have a tendency to just talk a lot. I like to pretend that you guys are here with me and that we're having a conversation. <laughs> Let's stretch through the triceps, so bring one arm back and down, that back. Breathe. Always try to relax into your stretches. Breathe into your stretches. And switch sides. Good, and let's, if you can come up, or you can stay down if you want to, but if you can, come up nice and slow and find a wall, something to stretch, open up that chest. If you don't have a wall or anything, you can just clasp the hands behind the back, puff that chest out. 
I want to make sure we are all stretched out. Go ahead and switch sides. Find that wall. Turn away from it. All right, guys. That should cover it because we had all those burpees and we were hunched over. Now we are opened up. We're feeling good. Roll those shoulders back and down. I hope to work out with you guys every day over the next four weeks. Not every day. You have rest days. But you can always come hang out with me in spirit. All right, guys. I love you and I hope to see you again soon.